nice lady. If you'd like a mess, she'll have one of those for you. Okay, oh, hey, thanks. Good afternoon. We're at the Indianapolis Zoo today. Thought it'd be a great day to go visit the zoo to try out the Sony RX10 IV camera. It's really a great camera. You notice it's one of the only Sony cameras that has a lot of rounded edges. It's got an equivalent of a 24 to 600 millimeter lens. It's a 20 megapixel sensor. It's a one inch sensor, not APS. It's a one inch sensor and all sorts of really cool features, especially high frame rates. And it really focuses pretty nice. This is an all in one camera and it deserves to be called an all-in-one camera because it's actually that good. Excuse me for a second, I'm gonna get a couple pictures of my friends here and we'll talk more about this camera. Yeah, I wanna catch this guy if he comes around again. Whoa, I got his mouth open. <laughs> and I like the snow just hanging on the pine branches here. We're at a 500th of a second, ISO 100. What I've done is I'm using manual. Uh, this is one of my favorite ways to shoot, especially when we're kind of shooting things that are moving fast. I set the shutter speed to 500th of a second. I have an f-stop ring on the front of the camera, which is really sweet. And then I set the ISO to auto. So basically, I'm going to catch things at a 500th of a second. I can regulate my depth of field very quickly with the f-stop on uh, the lens and the ISO will automatically adjust based upon the kind of light. Now we're pretty bright out here, so uh, I would say we're gonna be shooting at uh, ISO 400, 200, maybe 800 at the most if I shoot at a dark subject. So that way you know you've got a solid shutter speed where you're not gonna be able to see any blur because of motion. The autofocus does a good job kicking in and I'll control my depth of field. I do miss the joystick that's on all the new Sony cameras. Okay, here he comes. Cool. Look at this thing. I want to hug him. I have a cat. And I'm just trying to figure out where we are. <laughs> They're clowns, aren't they? Ah, that's cool. Look at me, guy. There we go. Nice. Okay. Wow, he posed. Ooh, look at that. I felt like when I was gonna be coming out here and photographing that I'd miss my A7R3 or the A9 and you know the big lenses with what their capabilities were. But uh, looking and doing my chimping on the back here, I've been very surprised, but more than anything else, it's got a big deep grip, so it holds my hand very nicely. There's an area for the thumb back here that doesn't touch any of the buttons in the back. The movie button is easily located where I could turn the movie on with my uh, thumb. On the dial on the left, uh, there's a number of settings, film, high frame rate, panorama, scene, auto, P for professional program, it really stands for, but it's kind of a a joke in the industry. Aperture priority, shutter priority, manual. Uh, we have a hot shoe. We have a pop-up flash. We have a backlight button, two custom buttons right up here. On, off, and wide telephoto. So this is kind of a multi-function uh, type thing where I can turn the camera on here and off here. And once it turns on, it takes a second or two for it to turn on. I can control the zoom with my finger here. It has a standard threaded socket for a cable release. Down below here, we have focus hold button for obviously holding the focus. We have a full or a three meter to infinity switch. So depending on how you're going to be shooting, like if you're gonna be shooting a lot of things uh, 10 feet or further away, you'll shoot to that 10 meter and it won't uh, take so long to focus, it'll focus quicker. Also, we have a dial down here, which is for single auto continuous and digital manual focus and manual focus. So you've got a number of different settings which are easily to set right here. If I wanna to go to single, I can do that. I'm shooting continuous because I'm shooting a lot of things that are moving. So I have it set for C, MF for manual focus, and you can have peaking and all the things we're accustomed to. And then DMF, which is digital manual focusing, which allows you to use the autofocus to get close and then focus fine tune uh, with the manual focus switch. So 
I have this now set for continuous autofocus at high frame rate. Listen to this, it's 24 frames per second. If I'm shooting JPEG, I can do 24 frames per second for a total of 240 frames before the buffer fills. Listen. Boy, that's music to my ears. You have a microphone and a headphone jack, an HDMI and a USB. And the screen is tiltable, so it does flip out. And so if you want to do low angle shot, you can do that. So that's kind of convenient also. One SD card slot for the SD card. And your battery compartment is on the bottom. Overall, I'm pretty damn impressed so far. I'm not strapped down, it's light. It's a pretty sweet system. We are in this hot desert building, lots of lizards and snakes. All they want to do is kill you. These kids making too much noise. and I'm hoping that I've got a pretty good focus zone uh, to be able to catch these animals when they come by, which I hope will be any second. There we go. You don't want to put your hands in the water. <laughs> Michael, yeah, oh, there he is. What a great few hours at the zoo. Started off in the snow, ended up in the sun, and it's warming up. We were like the only people here at the zoo for a while, so we had a zoo all to ourselves. More than anything else, we had a lot of fun shooting with the Sony RX10 IV. 20 megapixels, 24 to 600 millimeter zoom, a lot of fun to shoot with, lots of versatility. However, a couple of little things. It doesn't focus super close. Sometimes, specifically when I was shooting some of the animals, and of course, I was shooting in some rather difficult situations, the autofocus had a hard time catching. It could be because there was glass in front of some of the subjects and so forth. And I found myself switching to digital manual focus a lot of times to get the shot. For the most part, anything outdoors like this seems to be locking right on autofocus pretty good. It's well designed. It's a very sleek camera system. Great for those that want an all-purpose camera system that they can take without all the extra lenses and fuss and muss. I love the f-stop ring. For the price, and for those that really aren't super serious into photography, but want a camera that has all the latest cool Sony technology, then this might be the camera for you. For what it is and what it does, it does a pretty damn good job.